heavy snow on Japan's northern island of Hokkaido. An unusually powerful storm hit the city of Iwamizawa on Monday, leaving behind mounds of snow nearly two meters deep. Scientists say they can't confirm exactly how much snow fell because their measuring instruments were damaged in the blizzard. But the island's meteorological agency said this is the most snow Iwamizawa has been hit with since records began in 1946. Here, the sheer weight of the snow caused the collapse of a wooden roof. The falling structure knocked over several stoves, setting the building ablaze. So this is Aomori City, right on the northern tip of the main island of Japan. And you can see around me here the huge piles of snow on the sides of the roads. And this is at sea level, but where we're heading now, up into the mountains, there is reported to be much, much more. Soon it is higher than a bus. An hour later and the road is now a narrow snow canyon. This is Skyu. This winter it has received more than five and a half meters of snow, the most ever recorded anywhere in Japan. Well, I've tried to get my tape measure all the way to the top and I failed, so instead I'm going to put it to here. That there is two meters, so that's two meters to there. So, you know, you can just see that that's, well, that's at least five and a half meters, maybe more. There is a serious question to be asked here. Why is Japan getting all this snow? It may be a one-off, or it could be the result of global warming. Whichever, some of the effects are mind-boggling. This might just look like an enormous pile of snow, but right underneath me here is a house. The meringue-like snowpack is beautiful, but also destructive. The weight of all this can easily crush the houses. People here are well equipped for dealing with snow, but even here they're wondering what on earth is going on with their weather. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Aomori, Northern Japan.